everyone welcome to another session of your favorite channel my project ideas today we are going to make a project which is based on node.js on the topic e-commerce website i know it's gonna be a bit long video and because we are going to discuss each and every component related to this website application so before going to the actual code before looking at the website let's have a look at the requirements first we require a text editor where we are going to write our code we prefer any writing environment but the recommended ones and my personal favorite has always been vs code secondly you require an operating system where you are going to like which is going to help you to write your code obviously and which is helpful for running your code obviously this project is based on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, Bootstrap, and we are gonna use some files like HTML files, CSS files, some image files, then JavaScript files, Bootstraps will be used. Node modules are there. So without much ado, let's look at the website first. So here is our website. This is our website. This is an e-commerce website here where you can search for goods. There are certain categories mentioned here. You have items, you have wish list, then the sign in functionality is here. You can sign up or uh, like, let me write something. Let's check. Okay. So you can sign up like this. Then uh, the local host, sometimes the like when you run a node.js project let's look at the terminal let's try to run it again sometimes it happens like the terminal wants maybe some network error yeah so i'm inside it so let, let me run it again yeah give me a minute yes here we are so you got, got to slide the, those images like this then you can hear there are certain like headphones available the here the telescopes so basically these images are there you can sort them accordingly then you have this computers apple computers laptops all the sections are mentioned here then you have the shop journal about contact contents this stuff stuff is there here you have the sign in thing let's try This is happening due to no network problem, no issues. Uh, till then, we are gonna look our code, then we are gonna resolve it. Yes, here we have the sign in issues again, no issues. Again, these are the problems which you will basically face when you will be working on Node.js because you will be getting many type of error and you need to resolve it. And it is better if you face the error in real time, it's really better. So, let's have a look. Now it's running perfectly. Let's have a look at the, uh, what shall we look at? Let's look at the JS first. Okay, here we are in the JS section. And first I'll show you the problematic part that is the sign-in wala thing. So first we got the module exports, then we got the sign-in part. Then we are going to request a session if, uh, the, see, if you'll get a warning, like in the requirement section, if you get a warning due to some network problem or something, which we got, it says you're not able to access this area because there may be some network issues, there may, may be some instability in the network. Then the title will be obviously sign in. Then you're going to put the email and password as we saw. And if the email is not valid, it says email is invalid. If the password is invalid, it says the password is invalid and password must be at least four digits. I mean four characters, okay? Then you have this called uh, the connection uh basically when you are signing signing in or you're lo logging in into a system basically this things uh get via a connection right that the connection should be secured then if you are creating a session then what all objects do you need username email admin and card then you are going to sign in into the system now let's look at the sign up what happens in sign up? In sign up, you are going to create your account. Sign in means you have already an account. You have already an account. You are going to authenticate it. But in sign up, you are creating a new account by yourself. Cool. So here we are signing up into the account. We have a title called sign up. 
and we have a CSRF token here. Again, two, two components, success and warning. Then the username you get from required dot body dot username. What is the meaning of this? Under the RAQ requirement, you have a part called body. Under the body, you have a part called username. So basically, the drop down things. Like see, here, uh, under the roots, I'm uh, making it very easy for you. Under the roots, I have checkout. Under the checkout, I have cards. Card.js. So how do you write it? Roots dot checkout dot card.js. Gotcha? Then we have this check body where we have checking the username and whether the username is empty or not. Mail is being checked whether it is valid or invalid and password is checked in accordance with four digits. Okay. And uh, if you're on a creator session, again, you have to put your username, mail, admin and card. Got it? Then uh, we are talking a lot about the cart. So let's have a look at the cart. Cart is basically seen where when you're going to put some items in your cart, in your list. So you're going to get the list of the products in your cart. The title name is mentioned as cart and you're going to give a warning that if you do not have any items in the cart, then this is not a warning warning. But yeah, like the e-commerce websites, they try to drive traffic into their system. So they like, they send you mails, they send you messages that you have left something in your cart, come and buy it. It's a kind of marketing, you know, so we should not get into it because we're tech, we're techies, not marketing experts, right? Then... We get the render function where we get to the checkout of the cart. Then again, the title is mentioned as cart. And again, two things, success, warning, and obviously product because we're in the cart. And if you get an error, if you get a catch error, the try catch system, catch error, then console.log, what is do you mean by console.log? Uh, you have a uh, thing called console. Have, do you know it? Let me show you the terminal. See, here, this is the console. And in the console, it will be not visible to you, but in the console, if you write console.log error in the console, the error will be displayed. Okay. Let's move to the home.js then. In the home.js, what we have? We have the messages request, connection request categories. And then we have this again, uh, catching the error where it shows it was not possible listing categories. Then we have the timeout function right here where we have again uh, four things categories product success and warning okay and this transition is given as 100 100 milliseconds let's have a look at the search in the search what do we do we've uh, basically ordered so this is the ordering by rating low price and high price this is here mentioned here when you are going to filter items here see the uh, this error is working perfectly when it says catching error okay see uh, this is your wish list. I do not have any wish list. I have picked on this. I do not have any wish list. I do not have any collections. So basically, I have not given. This is just the layout. I have not given anything. See, in the help, you have the forum. You have the FAQ. In the USD, you have this. In the languages, you have Portuguese and English. I have not given any products as such. I have just given this product. Let's move to the home page. Wait a bit. Now the cards are also given. Where is the home page? Let's run it again. Let's go to the home page. Where how to stop it? Control C and you have to press N. And how to start your server after uh, initializing all the dependencies? You have to write npm start. So the your server will start at localhost 3000. So these are the things which have been provided to you. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, let me close this terminal. Fine. And in the views, we have these checkouts, errors, home, layouts, a partial search, and sign, which we discussed before. In the index.js, what do we have? We have nothing, just the host, the local host, and the port in which it is running at its 3000, which we saw. And it says server is on at this uh, host, like host, local host, and port is 3000. Did you see it? I showed it just now in the terminal section. We just saw it. A bit wait in the terminal it, it must be there yeah see server is on at http and in place of host you got local host and in place of port you got 3000 got it right and then we will move to the this part the rating.js so in the rating.js what do we have what do you do in the rating when you are in the e-commerce the feedback is quite important right so first you got, got to select the query by rating 
then you get the number of stars if you cannot give half star here so in this section you cannot give half star here if it is not equal to the number of stars mod 2 means what you are going to get the odd number of stars and when you get a half star you are going to floor it you know the ceiling and floor function so you are going to floor because you are not going to give half star you cannot give four and a half you are going to give four stars in the slider part we have these image sliders what is the image sliders this part these are the image sliders see got it we have three images on the go then uh, we will be looking at the products then these are the images have a look these images these are the images which we basically are the five icons which we saw and the css part in the css part basically you can modify depends on you see the display align item justify content width margin left margin right see every component is selected first then the uh, the things are like the whatever changes the attributes are mentioned here this is a, for the footer then this is for the links this is for the footer bottom in the global css what happens we have the font family background color margin border radius the font size padding everything is set you can change accordingly css is uh, like no brainer you can change accordingly we have header.css news.css products rating reset sign slider we have everything so i hope this project was clear to you it was a simple yet understandable project so that we could like understand different things so that uh, see i have not given here multiple items you can add items you can add images and you can link them this project is almost done but again if you want to change this images it depends on you so i hope you understood the working of this project it was super fun your concepts got clarified and for more interesting and more detailed project ideas stay tuned to this channel thank you and have a great day Thank you.